next topic uh, in unit 2 is uh, functional block of a typical sensor node sensor characteristics sensorial deviations so this is the block diagram of sensor node we heard sensor node in wireless sensor networks in wireless sensor networks there will be multiple sensor nodes the functionality of sensor nodes is to process the data compute the data implement the data exchange the data so the block diagram of sensor node is this and this block diagram consists of main four components sensing unit processing unit communication or radio unit power unit so the functionality of each one we'll see sensor unit sensor unit consists of different types of sensors and an adc so uh, sensing unit the sensor will collect the data from the physical world and the functionality of adc is it converts the analog data into digital data this digital data or the signals are fed to the next block that is called as processing unit so this processor can be a microcontroller or micro processor the main functionality is that it performs an intelligent data processing and manipulation and it also has a small storage unit next uh, component of sensor node is communication or radio unit communication or radio unit consists of different types of protocols for communication like wi-fi bluetooth zigbee lora z wave these are the different types of protocols for communication and you also have a radio unit so the basic functionality of communication or radio unit is it connects node to the network and next type of unit is power unit power unit consists of all the components with low level devices and it needs a small battery to power up the entire system so these are the four components the nature of sensor node is wireless a wireless nature of sensor nodes will allow allow them to freely relocate and deploy in large numbers without bothering about managing wires because it is wireless next topic is sensor characteristics the characteristics of sensors are sensors are defined by their ability to measure or capture a certain phenomena that will report as output signals to various other devices so the key parameters on which we are dividing the characteristics of sensors is sensors resolution resolution is the smallest change that you can see in the measurable unit example if you take temperature sensor a is detecting a change of 0.5 degrees temperature b sensor is detecting a change of 0.25 degrees centigrade if you compare this 0.5 is more that's why temperature b sensor is more having more resolution more resolution means it is high precision with the diagram here you can take the example of camera like high pixel values will give you high clarity as the image has more divisions for difference values so if you are having high pixel then clarity of the picture will increase that is why it is called as high resolution low pixel value will give low clarity as the images have lesser divisions you have lesser divisions lesser pixels so you have low resolution this is the diagram for the explanation of resolution next is sensor accuracy accuracy is the one the value which the sensor is detecting or finding out or determining is which is nearly close to the actual uh, actual value that is called as accuracy example if you take a weight sensor which is having the weight of 100 kg and sensor is detecting the value as 99.8 which is near to the actual value so the difference that is 0.02 is the error rate in the diagram you can explain is like this ideal value which is a value in the center it, these are the measured values this we are saying it has a good accuracy why because the measured value is nearer to the ideal value here it is pure accuracy because there is lot of difference between the ideal value and the uh, calculated value or the measured value next is sensor precision sensor precision is a repeatable process that you are going to do that means sometimes you want to continuously check the data and which is very close to the actual value you are going to consider like this repeatedly i am measuring a mass of the weight the actual weight is 100 kg and sensor is going on giving the values like in 98.2 kg 100.34 kg 101.11 kg which is near to the actual weight that is 100 and with the diagram you can explain in this if you see in between high accuracy high precision because ideal value and the measured values are both falling into the middle that's why we say high 
accuracy high precision here low accuracy low precision why we are saying here high precision low accuracy means the value is uh, it is far to the ideal value but all the points are falling in the same place that's why high precision low accuracy here high accuracy low precision high accuracy we are saying all the points are distributed but still they are near to the ideal value that's why high accuracy low precision but the last diagram if you see they are neither close points are close or neither they are near to the ideal value that's why low accuracy low precision Next topic is sensorial deviations. Sensorial de deviation here means it is an error in the sensor is called as deviations. So, the IoT applications are uh, non-critical in nature. That is why whatever there is a change or the variation in the output, they, they significantly affect or they rarely affect. But some of the applications like healthcare or business monitoring system, they demand for the sensors with precision measurement abilities, higher precision. Uh, that is why you get a lot of deviations. So, the under deviation, first type of deviation is the drift. Drift is if the output signal of a sensor changes slowly and independently. So, what are the value it is changing, it is detecting one value at a time, another time it is detecting another value like that, it is going on detecting the values, but every value is independent of each other and independent of the environment. Best example is noise in the temperature varying random deviations of signals. In the next you have offset error or bias error. Offset is if the output of the sensor differs from the actual value to be measured. That is meaning here when I am measuring the actual temperature, I am fixing the value of the temperature as 0 degree centigrade, but the temperature sensor is, uh, is detecting 1.1 degree centigrade Celsius. If doing it a many number of times, even then it is giving the same value as 1.1 degree centigrade. So, the uh, difference between the actual value and the measured value is called as offset error or bias. Next is sensitive errors. Sensitive errors, we, you get sensitive errors. Sensitivity means every sensor will have a, some fixed maximum value, low um, fixed minimum value. If the value is in between maximum and minimum value, we call it as full scale range. But if exceeds the limits like minimum value or maximum value, if it is exceeding, then we call it as sensitivity error. So, example, example here, the here the uh, some sensors do not follow a straight line in the performance. This is called as non-linearity. Most sensors are linear. Linear means not changing. Non-linear every time change. Hysteric errors. Hysteric errors is it depends upon the previous input alterations. So, this error will occur maximum in analog uh, analog sensors or weight sensors. This type of hysteric errors can be seen in analog or magnetic sensors. So, this is the diagram which explains this is the output voltage and this is the force. When force is going it increasing, the voltage is also increasing. This is one direction uh, that we are calculating and when it is decreasing, this is the wave. So, between this is called as hysteric error. It depends upon previous input alterations. So, this type of errors maximum seen in analog sensors. Next is quantization error. So, quantization error will be seen in digital sensors. So, if you want to express analog sensor, you can express in either square wave or a rectangular wave, but same thing to depict in digital sensor will be a uh, tedious task. That is why we will convert analog to digital sensors. So, this will happen because of this sampling rate. If you consider this is the digital output code and analog input values. Here we are increasing the sampling value. The dotted line is called as analog value and this step stepwise graph is called as digital value. So, here if it is bit, uh, uh, down the graph this line then we call it as negative percentage. If it is up we call it as positive percentage. And next type is analog to digital converter. So, converting an analog uh, errors or analog to digital converters, it will take some of the time, it depends upon sampling rate. Next is aliasing. Aliasing types of errors will come basically mishandling sampling frequencies can cause dynamic errors which lead to aliasing. That means, getting the correct wave practically is not easy or it, it is, uh, we can say it, it is impossible. But here, if you do it, 
G of W is a Gaussian wave that we are taking to understand this concept. Whenever we are increasing the sampling rate here, the wave you are getting, the two waves are been overlapping. The overlapping space is called as aliasing errors. Why we are calling it as error it means whether to consider this wave points or whether to consider this wave points, there is a lot of confusion here. That is why this overlap is happening because of uh, sampling frequency, mishandling sampling frequency that type of errors we call it as aliasing errors.